Hello. Hi. This is Melissa. <laughs> and this is Kat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I have the giggles all oh, of a sudden. No, not the giggles. <laughs> it's this boba. Every time we get boba, I was gonna say we got boba again. It's our new. It's our new really big soda. We get boba instead now. I, yeah, I think the boba does it more for me than the the RBS. Well, the boba is <laughs> great because the the really big sodas, the RBS. I if I have that much sugar, I can't sleep at night. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also made a grave error today because the boba I got was made with whole milk. So, again, I won't be sleeping tonight uh, for very different reasons. I mean, but... I put cheese mousse on mine. It's like whipped dairy. So <laughs> I got strawberry milk boba, which is basically just strawberry milk on ice with boba <laughs> in it. <laughs> so I always get the same thing. I always get the butterfly milk tea with cheese mousse. That cheese mousse just hits, bro. <laughs> I do like the cheese mousse, but I wish I could just like, I don't know, eat a bowl of it. Like I don't want it on top of my, my boba drink. I could absolutely eat an <laughs> entire, can, like walk in. Aside. I just would like a cup of cheese mousse, please. Thank can you. I get a cup of cheese. They'd probably say yes. Cause they're so sweet. Yeah. Our place is nice. Anyway, <laughs> enough about boba. Enough about a boba rant. <laughs> so this time we're here to tell you why pirates of the caribbean dead man's chest is tragical uh, i love it. pirates of the caribbean this one's pretty good uh, i love the whole franchise that's not true the later ones were like the, the more recent trilogy is it a trilogy yeah i think so there's, anyway <laughs> yeah there's the mermaid one we'll watch it someday <laughs> that's the only one i remember <laughs> it, it's uh yeah <laughs> yeah anyway <laughs> i got some fun facts for you i cannot wait to hear these the scene when jack sparrow calls davy jones fish face And sings to them, I got a jar of dirt, was unscripted and improvised by Johnny Depp. I love that. Most of the reactions of most of the reactions of the rest of the characters are real. (laughs) That's a good one. I like that. Imagine just Johnny Depp singing out, I got a jar of dirt while holding a jar of dirt. And now it's like iconic. It's yeah. also in like U.S. court documents. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, no. Hell yeah. Uh, when Will is looking for Captain Jack Sparrow, the last guy he asks tells him about an island where the long pork is very good. Did you know that long pork is a euphemism for human meat? Oh, Oh, no. Because <laughs> they're cannibals. Not the long pork. Oh, no. That makes sense, though, because they were cannibals. <laughs> yeah. And humans are just long pigs. Wait, what? <laughs> I'll take it. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Long pig. <laughs> pork is pig, right? <laughs> yes. So the vegetarians. Yes. Today, um, my work catered chick fil a in. Um, we ew. love homophobic chicken. And one of the security guys was like, did you get Chick-fil-A this morning? And I said, no, I'm a vegetarian. And he said, they had chicken biscuits. <laughs> I said, Bestie. Yeah, I don't eat meat. That's like one time <laughs> when I ordered Burger Fi and the Uber Eats guy called and said they were out of Beyond Meat. And he was like, would you like a turkey burger? And I was like, no, that's meat. <laughs> I ordered Beyond because I don't eat meat. Why would I want a turkey burger? Why are people under the impression that poultry is not meat? It fully is <laughs> meat. Very concerned. It's still a dead animal, bestie. <laughs> I don't eat it. Anyway, so the crew had four tall ships at their disposal to populate the backgrounds. They were painted differently on each side for money saving purposes. Wait, that's honestly genius. <laughs> yeah. So there were four boats that just looked like eight. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It is actually really dope. Um, but 
For the production of this film, as well as the next installments of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, two ships were actually built. Can you guess which two? I'm going to guess the Pearl. Uh Uh-huh. Because it's in like every movie. Yes, the Black Pearl. Um, It can't be the Dutchman because that one, is it the Dutchman? The Flying Dutchman. Interesting. I mean, obviously the sails are like made of like seaweed like that's mm-hmm. not legit but mm-hmm. the, the ship itself like the wo- whole the woody part the whole <laughs> the what the woody part <laughs> the whole the star wars <laughs> <laughs> just the ones i don't even i couldn't even tell you what the star if that's right or left the but mast <laughs> <laughs> that's the big pole in the middle that's the big woody part i thought that was the bird's nest the bird's nest is on the is on the mast. Wait, is it called the bird's? Nest? Now I don't trust anything I'm saying. The bird's nest is the part at the very top is of it the tallest the bird's mast. Nest? Yeah, it's a bird's oh. nest, and that's where it the crow's great. nest. <laughs> it was a bird. It was like I don't think that's right. the crow's nest. I had to keep saying it in my head. The bird's nest. That's at the top of the tallest mast, though. <laughs> <laughs> the mast is the actual oh fuck f- like where the sailies go yeah <laughs> the sailies I hate this the bow isn't that one of the sides or is that the front or the back I the crow's nest the bird's <laughs> nest do you think I know I at least knew the hole <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about that's like the whole ship it's like the main part of the ship <laughs> you guys have to see her nodding at me like, <laughs> all right, sure. <laughs> the dungeon. No. Oh. <laughs> That's a <my> castle. <laughs> That's on my ship. <laughs> it's nothing but ju- it's ship. fully a dungeon. There's nothing else on, on top of the ship and the bottom oh, of the ship. Fuck. And the, the bird's nest is a dungeon. That's the name of my ship. <laughs> the, bird's the bird's nest. <laughs> Catch me never on your ship, son. <laughs> land. <laughs> That's you, not your ship. <laughs> I am a land. <laughs> never drinking whole milk ever again. <laughs> You're going to be shitting and farting in 20 minutes. <laughs> Okay, I have one more fun fact. I can't wait. Um, I want to rewatch the movie now because I never noticed this. When Mr. Gibbs is enlisting new recruits at the Tortuga Tavern, a bunch of men are pulling a man out of a well and he slowly spits out water. This is a recreation of, of a the scene ride. in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at the Walt Disney World theme box. That's one of my favorite parts when the wife is yelling from the window, Don't be chicken! I love that part. Don't be chicken. Carlos. Be turkey. (laughs) Yeah, be some other kind of non-meat poultry. (laughs) Non-meat poultry. (laughs) Okay, well. (laughs) That's all my fun facts from the Internet Movie Database. Boom. Bad a days if you're nasty. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So, Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Lizzie Swan. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Miss Elizabeth Lizzie Swan. Chilling. Chilling in the rain. <laughs> uh, her wedding day has been ruined. I mean, supposedly rain on your wedding is supposed to be a good thing. She was supposed to marry Will Turner, love of her life. What happens? The British popo take <laughs> Will on their <laughs> the wedding British. day. I don't know what oh, the fuck well. they're called. Um, <laughs> under the orders of Lord Beckett, who I was really annoyed with in the beginning of the film. But by the end, I don't know. I think he's kind of hot, actually. I cannot I think with it's you. the powdered wig. For some reason, I'm really here for it. Listen, let's go back to the time when women didn't need to have jobs. And men had powdered wigs. He, yeah. <laughs> I am I'm on board. Fuck feminism. I'm here for the powdered wigs. <laughs> Leave the wig on. <laughs> <laughs> the wig stays on. <laughs> anyway, Lord Beckett arrests Will on Will and Lizzie's wedding day. Uh, he also has a warrant to arrest Elizabeth fucking Swan. what they do? They aided and abetted a pirate and their sentence is death it's like really harsh they get <laughs> hung bro well they don't get hung <laughs> well and that's the end of the movie <laughs> i'm saying like that's the punishment. and lizzie 
die. We watch their next snap and that's it. Immediately dead. It's a 10 second movie. (laughs) No, but Governor Swan is big mad. They are charged with setting a prisoner free and sentenced to death. And then we cut to the Black Pearl. Um, Mr. Gibbs is having a drinky drink, <laughs> singing a little song. Cat wanted me to not say that part. No, but. <laughs> listen, because when it was happening in the movie, there wasn't like a reason for it at first. So then I was like, well, we're cutting that out. And she agreed. And then she put it back. <laughs> we love Mr. Gibbs. We do stand Gibbs. And then we see coffins getting thrown into the ocean. Um, just throw the bodies in is what I say. I was going to say, why are we wasting wood on dead people? <laughs> yeah. Why are we cutting down trees? Stupid. Anyway, um, Captain Jack Sparrow emerges from one of these coffins and he starts to row towards the Black Pearl with a dead person's leg. I'm sorry. How does he get out of the casket again? Punches the... He shoots all oh, in the fucking I like, casket. I, <laughs> I would be afraid that I would, the bullet would ricochet right back <laughs> on me. In those close quarters. Truly, like, that wood was so, like, ratchet. <laughs> he probably could have just punched a hole. So anyway, the crew of the Black Pearl is like, did you get some treasure? We love treasure. We're pirates. And Jack is like, no, but I did get this drawing of a key. (laughs) Fucking great. Not even a key, a drawing of a key. Yep. And then Jack uses his compass to set their course, but his compass really isn't working. No, it's going a little whack. We cut back to Beckett who is chatting with Will and he asks um, Will to go get Jack Sparrow's compass in exchange for him and Lizzie's lives back to the Pearl. (laughs) And there's lots of cutting. There is in this one. There's lots of cutting around. Uh, Back to the Black Pearl. Jack goes for some rum because he has to quench his pirate thirst. (laughs) He's been in that casket for 10 minutes, you know. (laughs) Yeah. Instead, he finds Bootstrap Bill Turner. Bootstraps, bootstraps. (laughs) Bootstraps, bootstraps. (laughs) He's icky. Yeah, he's covered in like barnacles and he's... A starfish. Dripping wet. That starfish is his only friend. Does not look like a good time. And Bootstrap Bill says that he was sent by Davy Jones to speak to Jack and he tells Jack that he's been captain of the Pearl for 13 years thanks to a deal he made with Davy and Davy Jones is now (laughs) Mr. Jones. (laughs) Davy Jones is now calling in his debt. He was like, you need to pay up. You've had your time. It's it's you're done. You're done for. Yeah. Also, if you don't remember, uh, Bootstrap Bill is the one who started the mutiny against Jack before movie one Mm -hmm. even happened. He apologizes for it. Well, they also sent him to Davy Jones' locker, so... So now he feels bad. Uh, So yeah, Davy Jones sent Bootstrap to warn Jack that Davy and his pet Kraken are coming in hot. And then Bootstrap gives Jack Sparrow the black spot. (gasps) On the palm of his hand. Yeah, it's like a, it looks like a, um, like a sea urchin (laughs) chilling in the palm of his hand. Yucky. Yeah, it doesn't look like, I'm sure it smells great. (laughs) So Jack wakes up the crew and is like, hey, uh, find land immediately. Let's get out of open waters because he doesn't want to get eaten by the Kraken. Mm -hmm. Cut back to. (laughs) (laughs) Lots of cutscenes in this one, guys. Will, he is telling Elizabeth in her little jail cell that he is going to Jack to get Jack's compass to get them out of getting murdered. Mm -hmm. And he says, keep an eye on the horizon for my return. It's cute. It also comes back into play in what? The third movie, fourth movie, fifth movie? One of them. Also, I don't know <laughs> if they're like waiting for marriage, but they they would very much like to bone. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know if Lizzie's like a good Christian woman or like what is, what's happening. I don't but... know. She's pretty horny. I think she's hornier than Whitley is, <laughs> to be honest. She's like, my fucking eyes are on the fucking horizon. <laughs> don't you fucking worry. She, she keeps saying she can't wait to be married. And I think I, think I know what that means. Oh, <laughs> like, you think that's why? <laughs> I guess in those times, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. She's a religious lady. <laughs> She's like, can we please fucking get married already? Yeah. She's like, I'll do it right now in this jail cell. I get it now. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. I'm catching on. That's why when she's on the... We'll talk about it later. <laughs> yeah. Remember this. Yes. Remember this. <laughs> so Will goes to Tortuga, everyone's favorite party island, um, to ask around for Jack Sparrow. And he learns that the Pearl is on a deserted island and some traders take him there. 
Will finds the pearl abandoned on the shore and he sees Cotton's parrot and Gibbs flask. And then he gets caught in a trap and some lovely natives dart him and knock him out. Yeah, he's trying to beat him all with his sword. He's like hanging by his leg and they're like, just take him out. Just, yeah. Just take him out. <laughs> uh, so he's carried on a pole by the villagers to their little village. And Jack is there. He's got a big hat and some face paint and is apparently a deity to uh, these islanders. Jack whispers to Will um, to save him. Things are not going great. After he tells the village again that poor Will is a eunuch, he really just loves telling people <laughs> yeah. that William Turner we is a fucking a eunuch. Back. <laughs> so the tribe carries Will off. Cut back to <laughs> Port Royal. The governor takes Lizzie to a carriage so that she can be taken back to England um, by a friend of the governor. The captain friend gets killed by one of Beckett's little lackeys, little his spy. Little, his little assassin, man. Yeah. And Elizabeth, being the bad bitch that she is, escapes the carriage, of course. She's already gone. Yeah. And she goes to Lord Beckett and she holds him at gunpoint. What a queen. Elizabeth. It's so hot. <laughs> uh, and she makes him sign their release papers. Mm-hmm. Which, like, truly, I mean, kind of means something, but also, like... Yeah, in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> yeah, and then she tells him that the compass isn't all it's cracked up to be because it just takes him to cursed gold. And then Beckett's like, no, it, it takes you to more than just cursed gold. I have a very specific thing that I need and I want, and that compass will get me there. So give me that compass and y'all are, y'all are set free. Yeah, she thinks that it only points to Isla de Muerta. Ladies and gentlemen... Cutscene. <laughs> um, to Rigetti and Pintel, our favorite our pirate faves. duo. I love them so much. Pintel is really into like philosophy. <laughs> I'm here for it. He's like reading a book with his <laughs> one eye about fucking like. <laughs> you can read with one philosophical eye. Philosophical shit. I love that for it's him. It's so good. He's thriving. Mm -hmm. They are going to take the Black Pearl back for themselves. Okay, it's hear a good me plan. Out. It's a good plan. I know we don't know much about boats and ships and all of that, but don't you need more than two people to <laughs> no. get that thing going? They got it. Okay. They have the dog too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the key still. Yeah, the dog with the key is mm -hmm. with them. The villagers put the crew of the Black Pearl into two cages that are hanging from vines over a gulch. Uh, the cages are made out of bones, so that's yucky. <laughs> Gibbs tells Will... That the villagers are going to roast and eat Jack Sparrow to release him from his earthly body so that he can be a proper divine spirit, which makes sense to me. I'm on board yeah, with I'm the here plan. For it. Yeah. The crew starts to swing in their little prison balls, balls of prison. Prison balls! <laughs> And they start grabbing for the cliff walls so that they can hoist themselves up onto land. Meanwhile, the villagers are firing up the fire to literally pit roast Jack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're about to roast him like a little pig. <laughs> That's pork again. Oh, long pork. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. We <laughs> got, got there. It, we got, got there. <laughs> so the crew, they begin to climb the cliffside, still in their little bone cages. <laughs> No, um, I like prison balls better. Prison <laughs> balls. One of the prison balls um, with the crew members in it drops and their vine snaps and they fall into the gulch. Mm -hmm. So that's bad. Yeah. And a sentry sees them and goes and tells the rest of the village that the prison ball people are trying to escape. <laughs> yeah. But the ball that fell was like the irrelevant crew yeah like we still got marty and gibbs, and gibbs and will cotton. And cotton the important ones are there marty that's all i care about <laughs> marty's my favorite <laughs> so the villagers go to chase the crew in their prison ball <laughs> from the gulch but they are still in the cage and they start rolling and running through the jungle it's pretty smart actually <laughs> yeah they they're doing their best jack is able to jump off the fire pit but he's still tied to his little roasting pole not the roasting pole <laughs> the crew drops into a watery cave and the cage breaks thank goodness mm -hmm. so it's just made of bones so it's fine and then a little child villager comes to tell all the other villagers that jack has escaped so now they go to find jack they're like all right fuck these guys we gotta go find our 
deity and Jack has fallen into the gulch and he starts to slide down slowly again because he still has his little roasting stick on his back. (laughs) And then the crew makes it back to the Black Pearl where Rigetti and Pintel are have basically gotten it ready to set sail. Mm -hmm. And Gibbs is like, what about Jack? Gibbs is the only one who cares about Jack's bear. Will (laughs) says he won't leave without him because he needs the compass. (laughs) Oh, that's true. That's true. But luckily, guess who comes running around the cliffside? Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. With the entire village behind him. And they're like, all right, shit, let's go. (laughs) Wanting to eat him. Delicious. Um, So Jack makes it to the boat and they set sail. Unfortunately, the dog is the new target of the villagers. Sad. But I'm allergic to dogs anyway. So. Oh, well. R.A.P. homie. Jack tells Gibbs to keep to the shallows again because black spot. He doesn't want to get eaten by the kraken. And then Jack tells Will to find the key. And if he finds the key, he will give him the compass so that he can free Lizzie. And then we cut scene to another ship where a beautiful wedding dress is found. Oh my God, what? So weird. Uh, The crewmen are fighting over what the dress being on the ship means. Um, One of them thinks it means that the ship is haunted. And that means that they need to go back to shore and just never set sail again. The other one is like, yeah, we're haunted and they're trying to kill us. So and then the captain comes and he's like, no, it actually means that we have a stowaway. So how about we search for them? And they're probably naked. So then all the men are like, oh, shit, whoever finds the naked woman first, let's go. Meanwhile, little Miss Lizzie over here is covered in dirt, got her hair shoved up in a hat, pretending to search for a naked woman also. (laughs) So the Pearl crew is in rowboats rowing through the jungle and Gibbs is telling the crew of the legend of the Kraken and how Davy Jones is after Jack Sparrow. They are on their way to see Tia Dalma, who is a um, sexy witch queen. We stand. Um, She's not. An actual queen. She's just a queen to me. (laughs) She's a queen in my heart. (laughs) Uh, Tia Dalma sees Will Turner and is immediately like, I see destiny in those eyes, which is not something you want to hear from a witch doctor. So they need to trade something to Tia Dalma for information about the key. So they offer Barbosa's uh, undead monkey. His name is Jack. Mm -hmm. And she accepts the payment. Uh, She says that the compass isn't working because Jack either doesn't know what he wants or he knows and he doesn't want to claim what he wants. She says the key unlocks something very important belonging to Davy Jones. And then she tells the story of how Davy Jones fell in love with a beautiful, wonderful enchantress goddess and uh, decided to cut his heart out and put it in a chest so that way his feelings would never get in the way of anything ever again. I think that's fair, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Fair, fair. Also, while she's telling the story, Jack keeps snatching things from her house and just shoving them in his pockets. Kleptomaniac, (laughs) through and through. This is not the time. (laughs) Uh, Tia Delma then asked to see Jack's hand and outs him to everyone that he has a black spot. Then she gives him a jar of dirt so that way he's always on land because Davy Jones can only go out of the sea and onto land once every 10 years. Yeah, that sucks. But I guess he's like eternally living. So it's cool. He also controls the ocean. What's he going to do on land? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe he wants to go to a wedding. I don't know. So Tia Dama tells the crew where the Flying Dutchman is and they head to the Flying Dutchman. So Will goes to find the key on the Flying Dutchman. So there's a ship that is seemingly crashed into a reef and is sinking and Will goes to it, but it's not the Flying Dutchman. It was attacked by the Flying Dutchman, which pops out of the ocean. Um, Apparently it can go underwater. And all of the creature crew, the longer they've been on the ship, the more ocean like they are. Like one is like definitely like a shark. Yeah. (laughs) And then like there's Bootstrap who just has a starfish on his face. Mm -hmm. So and then there's newer crew members who are just like wet and dirty (laughs) they're just wet perpetually wet yeah so like the longer you're on the ship the more oceanic you 
become. So the crew captures the remaining sailors of the wreck and Davy Jones offers the men a place in his crew instead of death. And one man says, don't do that. Davy Jones is a bad guy. And Davy (laughs) Jones kills that guy. Mm -hmm. So Davy notices Will and he is neither dead nor dying. And he's like, what's up, bro? Verbatim. And (laughs) Will says that he is there to settle Jack Sparrow's debt. Davy Jones laughs out loud he lols and immediately ghost transports himself onto the black pearl right in front of jack sparrow and then davy jones gives jack sparrow three days to find a hundred souls and davy jones says that he'll keep will as the hundredth soul so he's really only got 99 to go (laughs) yeah also can we talk about how fucking cool the cgi of like Davy Jones and his crew are. Davy Jones is so fucking cool. And he like smokes a pipe and then like smoke comes out of his like broken tentacles. Like it looks so cool. Just like the fact that this movie came out in what, 2006? Yeah, it's And it good. looks like that. I remember we saw this in theaters like opening day. And I just remember him being on like the big screen and just being like, how the fuck is that not a real squid man? Yeah. How is that not real? It is a real squid man. <laughs> to I think me, so. it's a real squid man. It's so fucking cool. So we cut to Elizabeth Swan dressed as a male sailor. She has hoisted her dress up to scare the crew of the trading ship that she's on, uh, making them think that it's like ghost dress. <laughs> and then she burns the words Tortuga into the deck, making the trading ship crew think that the ghost wants to go to tortuga which why would that fucking ghost want to go to tortuga unless it wants to party (laughs) it's a sign the ghost said leave me on party island please absolutely i mean that's where i would want to go i guess there's always drama on tortuga (laughs) so the crew of the black pearl goes to tortuga to find 99 souls honestly (laughs) shouldn't be too hard on the island of tortuga you would think uh they are signing up crew members aka people to murder Mm -hmm. and who shows up but one james norrington melissa's fave my boy (laughs) uh he is a wasty pants Mm -hmm. and he pull his like wig is sopping wet and dirty like on top of his hair which is sopping wet and dirty it's really gross i'm still in love with him so norrington finds them and he pulls a gun on jack for ruining his life um norrington you ruined your own life bestie yeah and then a full-on brawl breaks out in the tortuga tavern of course it does and guess who else shows up cat who elizabeth fucking swan oh my god uh so she hits norrington over the head with a bottle and then he's thrown out to the pigs for starting a bar fight also beckett's assassin spy man has His been, right hand man <laughs> has been following them and now knows that elizabeth has escaped and is in tortuga and is in the presence of captain norrington we cut to davy oh jones. my god another cut scene um davy jones is playing his pipe organ which is sick as fucking it's fuck. so cool will is on the ship the flying dutchman and he meets his daddy bootstrap bill <laughs> Who is like, uh, sorry, I wanted to be a pirate more than a daddy. I don't regret it at all. And then Davy Jones is like all super giddy because like a family reunion is happening on his boat. And he makes Bill give Will some lashings because uh, Will accidentally dropped a cannon on the deck and <laughs> made a big old kerfuffle, <laughs> kerfuffle. Um, on, the, on the Flying Dutchman. So yeah, it was a cute little reunion. It's like, hit your son with a whip. Yeah, it's not a, not a good time, I don't think. But yeah, like, I'm really proud of Bootstrap. He was like, no, I wanted to fuck around, and this is what I get for it. But I was still, like, fucking around. <laughs> I wouldn't change anything I did, <laughs> but it sucks. He's like, bitch, I love the ocean. <laughs> I love being a pirate. And Will is like, I love you, Dad. They need help. They need therapy therapy. really badly. (laughs) Really badly. Mm -hmm. So we're back on the Black Pearl and Lizzie is chatting with Jack and he tells her that Will is on the Flying Dutchman. Jack tells Elizabeth that she needs to find the chest with the compass to have control over Davy Jones to get Will 
back. And Jack says that the compass will show you the direction of the thing you want most in this world. So she has to want to know where the chest is to control Davy to get Will back. You have to really think about how smart Jack Sparrow is sending two people to do the thing for him that (laughs) he needs done, knowing that these two people specifically will absolutely do it to save (laughs) each other and him not do a fucking thing. He's like, you idiot, get the key. You idiot, get the chest. And you need to do it to save the other idiot. (laughs) It's so so smart. He's a fucking genius. (laughs) So we're on the Dutchman and Will challenges Davy Jones to a dice game um for his soul and an eternity of servitude Mm -hmm. for the the key key. so uh daddy bill also (laughs) jumps in and wagers the same bid what a fucking moron so bootstrap purposefully loses Mm -hmm. the dice game will after davy jones leaves and exposes that his key is hidden up in his tentacle beard his face tentacles his face tentacles <laughs> so will is like you didn't have to do that dad because i just needed to know where the key was i knew i wasn't gonna win so that's awkward because <laughs> yeah, now but bootstrap bill has to serve eternity on the flying dutchman but now will doesn't have no to. reason <laughs> yeah will's gonna like get off at the next port or whatever whenever Imagine, like whenever just, that is yeah like also like what like y'all just just rolling up to the port like shark head over here is just yeah every, getting off at once every 10 years he doesn't have to only davy that's what i'm saying are they just like <laughs> going <True. laughs> i don't think davy jones is kind enough to let the rest of his crew off the ship when he's not allowed to he probably sails right by a port and he's like everyone wave at the plate which we're not going to <laughs> sucks to suck fuckers you got a hundred good years on this boat enjoy being shark face bitch <laughs> wait when shark face gets off the boat is he gonna still be shark face he has to try and get pussy as a shark <laughs> <laughs> what if he meets a nice lady shark I'm sure. If there's a place for it, it would be Tortuga. (laughs) Will gets the key while Davy Jones is sleeping over his organ. And Bill gives Will his knife. And Will vows to not abandon his papa. And he is going to stab Davy Jones' heart with his dad's knife. Which is like yucky. <laughs> Everything they touch is so yucky. It's so gross. Yeah. Everything is really yucky. It's not a good time. It's got like yellow yuck on it. Mm. <laughs> it's got phlegm on it. Gross. <laughs> anyway, Will gets the fuck off the Flying Dutchman on a rowboat. He makes it to the same ship that Elizabeth was on because her dress is there. And that's how I know that. And then the crew is talking about tortuga and what a great time they had but the dutchman is gaining on the trading ship and davy jones is pissed because he realized his key is missing will tried to stick the picture of the key up in there like indiana jones style like the swaparoo (laughs) but it didn't work at all i think it was also like a like a fuck you yeah like you didn't want to give it to me and so here's the drawing i showed you (laughs) a photo (laughs) you know that meme of medieval photo where it's like look at this (laughs) graph that was him (laughs) that was him giving him the fucking scrappy ass drawing of the key that he just stole (laughs) oh that's good i guess also the tentacle needed something to like hold on lasso on to i guess um davy jones releases the kraken and will realizes that he's doomed all the men on this poor little trading ship it's pretty fucked up actually um the men are grabbing spears and they start stabbing the little tentacles of the well, they're not little start stabbing the giant tentacles of the <laughs> kraken but they i mean they get got i mean this is the kraken we're talking about yeah. here and they're all swallowed up into the kraken's gaping mouth hole except for will who manages to like swim away and then he latches himself onto the side of the dutchman yeah he's like the dutchman has a swordfish on the front of it i don't know anyway he's like in its mouth <laughs> wasn't he's thriving doesn't look like a swordfish yeah kind of i guess i don't know anything about fish (laughs) and then back on the black pearl while this is all happening to these poor unsuspecting seamen elizabeth is telling gibbs and jack about beckett and the deal that was made and he says that 
And she says that Beckett is after the chest in order to control the sea. Jack takes the pardon papers that Elizabeth has and says that she needs to persuade him to get them back the same way she persuaded Beckett to sign them. Um, she held him at gunpoint, but he's talking about <laughs> something very different. Elizabeth um, is more than just a beautiful body okay listen there's a lot of double entendres about sword handling happening here um it's very horny (laughs) and norrington tells elizabeth that she shouldn't trust jack because will's on the flying dutchman for a reason not by his own choice and she decides to ignore norrington even though he is in fact correct she then looks at the compass to see where they should be headed And it points directly at Jack. Oh, no. Also, Jack Sparrow offers to marry Elizabeth and she tells him to fuck off. And then she also tells him that he can act all selfish, but she knows that deep down he's really a hero and he's always going to be a hero. Yeah, he says that he'll perform a marriage ceremony right then and there. (laughs) Yeah. And she's like, who am I going to marry? And he's like, this dude. (laughs) (laughs) Verbatim. (laughs) That was the conversation. She actually tells him that um, she won't marry him because he stinks and he has no morals, which is fair. (laughs) Which is very fair. (laughs) Um, They do almost make out though, and then um, she just a tease. Yeah, it's fine. I'm cool with it. And then Jack sees the black spot on his hand and remembers that he's fucking doomed. So he's like, "Let me, let me figure my shit out before I make out with this this nice lady." So the crew of the Black Pearl makes it to the island where the compass has led them to find Davy Jones' chest. It's crazy because it's a chest. Like his heart is in a chest. Mm-hmm. <gasps> like it's your chest. Yeah. Whoa. (laughs) That had to have been on purpose. His heart is in a chest. But not his chest. It's It's just a a chest. It is his chest. (laughs) But it's not his chest. But it's his chest. (laughs) (laughs) That whole milk (laughs) hit. Yeah, that whole milk hit me good (laughs) um so lizzie is using the compass on the island to find the chest and they start digging norrington and elizabeth jack is sitting in the sand yeah he's fucking like (laughs) meditating (laughs) he's meditating while they fucking dig uh the dutchman is right behind them obviously because davy jones is no fool and he knows they must be trying to find his chest his chest his physical chest not his actual Mm -hmm, chest mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm, great mm -hmm. so davy jones can't go on to land so he sends his crew yeah sharkhead's gonna fucking get him norrington hits the chest and the three of them pull it up jack pulls out the chest and they can hear the heart beating so eerie will finds them and him and elizabeth embrace on the sandy white beaches of wherever the fuck they are i know it's so sweet and then will tells lizzie that jack tricked him but at least he got to meet his daddy uh jack won't let will stab davy jones heart because he still has the black spot and the kraken will still hunt him forever until he gets davy jones to like reverse it Mm -hmm. question mark Mm -hmm. norrington wants the heart to give to beckett to become a good old navy boy again which norrington i love you bestie but your thing is the dumbest of all the things yeah for for sure (laughs) like for sure get a fucking life (laughs) uh so the boys are all sword fighting lizzie (laughs) is just she's just tired of men she's just sitting in the sand being tired of men we've all been there (laughs) she's like yelling at them about how stupid they are for fighting and then she starts throwing rocks at them um i just love keira knightley's eyebrows i want them Mm -hmm. so badly i just want to look like keira knightley i think she's my favorite like woman on earth I just love her so much. She is. She is beautiful. She is like above a 10. Mm -hmm. And she's so like, she just looks like she's up to no good. I just love her so much. We love a bitch up to no good. (laughs) (laughs) I want to be her best friend so badly. I think she'd be friends with you. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, Rigetti and Pintel are back. They came with Will. Uh, They take the chest whilst the men are fighting amongst themselves. Jack and Will and Norrington are fighting in an old building that is on the island. Jack gets the key and starts to run away. Will and Norrington are fighting 
on an old water wheel and it breaks free and starts spinning downhill towards the ocean. Also, like the awesome Pirates of the Caribbean music is just playing. It's and so, I just this part is so good. Like, fuck, it's so good. The wheel hits Jack and he gets stuck in it. And then when it turns over, the key drops down into the wheel. And so they're all trying to fight each other while the wheel spins and also try to catch the key at Mm -hmm. the same time. Rigetti and Pintel and Lizzie are about to square up in the forest, but the crew of the Dutchmen start to chase them for the chest and they lose it to one of the crewmen who's got like a conch, conch head. Conch shell head? Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. A what? Conk? Conch? Isn't it also called a conk? No. Okay. Make <laughs> sure it's just a conch. Isn't there a conch show? I think it's just conch bestie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a conch. Okay. You can feel that way. It doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> yeah. So this sea creature man. No, say it again. <laughs> What's his head? A conch head. Conch Can't you head. also call it a conch? I've no, well, no one's ever <laughs> called it that. <laughs> Except you just now. <laughs> conch. This is C-H at the end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so Jack and I'm, I'm leaving all of that in. So Jack and Norrington and Will are still rolling downhill in the water wheel fighting for the key. Jack gets the key and then he jumps off the wheel and he throws a coconut at the conch. <laughs> The conch, conch, Jesus! <laughs> the conch shell head man, conch shell head ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, and his fucking head goes flying off. <laughs> yeah, he knocks that shit clean off. So Jack opens up the chest and he takes out the beating heart and he puts it into his shirt. Great place for that. <laughs> it's thriving in there. Rigetti and Pintel find the now empty chest and they take it, thinking that it is not empty. Jack puts the heart into his jar of dirt, which is in the rowboat. Lizzie (laughs) is fighting the crew of the Dutchman with Rigetti and Pintel. I think it's so funny. You say Rigetti and Pintel and all my notes say Pintel and Rigetti. (laughs) Really? So every time you read it, I'm like, uh. (laughs) Weird. (laughs) So Norrington and Will finally stop in the ocean and are dizzy as fuck from spinning on the water wheel (laughs) down the beach. Thriving. Norrington finds the heart in the jar of dirt in the rowboat because he sees like the dirt on the seat of the rowboat Mm -hmm. and he's like okay jack put the heart in this jar of dirt yeah he's trying to steal the pardons from jack's he found something better (laughs) thriving the heart so he's like well fucking that's mine he takes it out of the jar of dirt so now norrington has the heart norrington takes the chest and he runs back onto land to like distract the dutchman crew and then he throws the chest to the crew and runs away while everyone else has already gotten away yeah they get on the pearl and they dupe yeah and jack thinks that he has the heart in the jar of dirt on the black pearl Mm -hmm. so he doesn't he's uh now bragging to davy jones who has pulled the dutchman up next to the pearl is it pull up they (laughs) they, they, they kind of pop up out of the water he just parks next to the pearl i don't know it sounds good to me (laughs) great pulls up next to you i like it and he's singing his little i got a jar of dirt song i got a jar Um, of dirt which i got a jar of dirt no one on the dutchman knows what the fuck he's talking about because they don't know that the heart is in there he does in fact drop the jar of dirt while the dutchman is attacking the pearl with cannons and he sees that the heart is not there so then davy jones sets the kraken after the pearl and shit kind of goes crazy from there will has this genius idea to wait until the meaty part of the tentacles is up around the ship and they fire all the cannons and so they hurt the little quacky baby i feel nothing for the kraken i don't know why you do <laughs> it's sad he's just hungry he's just got hungies okay <laughs> he's just doing his job <laughs> Fuck that bitch 
So anyway, Will has more brilliant plans because they know that the Kraken is going to be back. So they load up a net full of gunpowder and rum. Genius. Uh, Jack Sparrow is rowing away from the Black Pearl. He said, fuck this noise. The Kraken is back for round two. They hoist up the kegs of gunpowder and rum. And Elizabeth is going to shoot the kegs. But the Kraken grabs her by the dainty, gorgeous, beautiful ankles and drags her across the ship floor. Mm -hmm. The deck. Yeah. <laughs> the ship floor. <laughs> the ship floor. <laughs> you know, the ship floor. Yeah. But guess what? What? Jack has come back and he shoots the kegs himself and the Kraken is hurt pretty bad, but he's not dead and he's definitely angry. So the crew of the Black Pearl, they have to abandon ship. R.I.P. to the Black Pearl. 13 years. Jack says bye to the Black Pearl and him and Lizzie are the last two on the ship. Elizabeth kisses Jack Sparrow on the fucking mouth and Will sees it, but she was actually just shackling him to the ship because mm -hmm. she knows that the Kraken wants him and really nobody else. And so the crew heads for land and they leave Jack Sparrow on the Black Pearl to be eaten by the Kraken. So sad. Um, when Elizabeth gets into the longboat, Will asks where Jack is in kind of like a snarky way, like, I saw you making out with him, you fucking whore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he would saying never. in his brain. But he asks where Jack is, and she says that he is staying behind to give them a chance to get away. So she didn't tell anyone that she shackled his ass to the ship. She made it seem like he did of his own free will. So everyone else in the crew is now rowing away in their little boat and Jack takes an oil lamp and smashes it over his hand to get the oil out to slide his hand out from the shackles. He's so smart. Um, but the Kraken shows up and just kind of sucks him right in. No. <laughs> no. Jack jumps in head no. first. <laughs> Jack Sparrow puts his hat on <laughs> and pulls out his sword. And jumps into the Kraken. And jumps into the mouth of the Kraken. Gaping maw. <laughs> <laughs> He's a brave man. He's he a brave is. captain. He's ready for fucking death. Really thriving. Um, And Davy Jones says that Jack's debt has been settled. And then he starts freaking out. And he's like, I need to see the chest. Can we open it? And guess what? It's empty. Sorry about your luck, bestie. So Davy Jones, real pissed. Real pissed off. Mm -hmm. Doesn't know where his heart is. Has no clue. It's got to be an unsettling feeling. Yeah. To just not know where your <laughs> heart is. Yeah, I don't like Could that. Could be anywhere in the seven seas. Um, Norrington brings Beckett the heart because he wants to be a good British man again. <laughs> the crew of the Black Pearl return to Tia Dalma. She serves them drinks and they all toast to Jack, the best mm -hmm. captain that there ever was. Wait, I just realized my notes say Gibbs gives a roast instead of a toast. <laughs> and I just picture them all sitting like around like MTV style, like <laughs> roasting Jack Sparrow. The comic roast of Jack <laughs> <Yeah>. Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Oh, shit. That would be so, really good. So at one point, Will is like, I wish there was something we could do to bring him back. And Tia Dalma, before he even finishes his <laughs> sentence, is like, what? Do you want to? Do you want to? Would you do it? Did you? Would you do it? If you could, would you do it? Would you do it? And Elizabeth is like, well, yeah. But she also just like killed him. So she's probably got a tiny guilty yeah, conscience. Yeah, she's guilty. Yeah. And Tia Dalma says, would you sail to the ends of the earth to save Jack? And the entire crew agrees that they would do it. And she says that it is possible. They just need a captain who knows the way. And who walks down the stairs? Captain Barbosa. I remember seeing this in theaters and losing Screaming. my absolute goddamn mind. Screaming. He also has his monkey, his sweet baby child. That's why she accepted the payment. And cat. Mm -hmm. He's eating an apple. And he's thoroughly enjoying it. It's dribbling down his face. He fucking loves apples. <laughs> and that damn monkey. He's thriving. I'm so happy for Barbosa. And that's the end. Honestly, the third one is my favorite. 
Pip. <laughs> so good. Just keeps wow. going forever. Yeah, the third one is my favorite, I would um, say. They are all simply amazing. Simply bliss. Would you like to go first? You know, I will go first, Kat. I made this simple. I gave Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest an 8 out of 10, Mm -hmm. just like I gave Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl an 8 out of 10. Um, I do love these movies so, so, so much. Yeah, it's my number 32. It's right under Pirates of the Caribbean and Curse of the Black Pearl. Amazing. I'm probably going to lump them all together because they're kind of like one one giant movie to me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. I gave... Dead Man's Chest, a 10 out of 10. I love these movies. I think they're so funny. I love the music. I just think the storylines are super cool. Mine is at number 26, underneath Teen Beach Movie and above Robin Hood. I'm ready to guess. I'm so excited. Okay. (laughs) I just feel like you're never going to guess this. Literally, she said that to me earlier and I said, what did I say? You said like... Thumbelina. That's not even a Disney movie. (laughs) You said like Old Yeller and Pollyanna. Pollyanna. That's what it was. All right. You ready? (laughs) Yeah. Neither of us have seen this movie. Oh, fuck. Um, It's a DCOM. A DCOM? It's been a while since we did a DCOM. I don't even fucking know where to even begin. Apparently there's multiple sequels, (laughs) which I just found out. (laughs) Lemonade Mouth. I don't know. That's something I've heard of that I don't know what it is. That is a decom, but it's not. No. Um, We should do that one soon, though. Oh, fuck. Please, no. Never. It is about high school. But what decom is (laughs) Zombie. (laughs) Yeah. Zombies. zombies. Oh, it's, it's just called zombies. It's spelled out like um Z O M B I E S. I'm giving it a zero zombies. already. I just um, know it. Apparently there's like seven of these movies. Is it about just like high school zombies? Yeah, so it might be good. Um the synopsis is a regular high school has to accept students from zombie high. Oh fuck. Is there dancing? I feel like there's dancing. There's probably music in it. I've never seen it. I don't know. We're going to find out together. Oh, fucking hell. Why? It's just a regular schmegular girl and she's going to date a zombie. <laughs> oh, wait. The guy's a zombie? Yeah. Aw, it'd be cute if the girl was a zombie. Yeah. I'm already rewriting this in my head. <laughs> well. I'm excited because neither of us have seen it. I'm going to hate this. I already know. I'm going to, I'm going into it with an open mind. You know what You're I mean? You're not going into it with no, an I open am. mind. It could be really good. Yeah, I don't know. I've it never could seen be it. like it could be really good. We're gonna find out anyway. <laughs> um, all of our social medias are linked below. Patreon is linked below. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> Why'd you say um, like a question? <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. <laughs> um, please leave a review mm-hmm. or five stars. Share it with a friend. Share it with all your friends. Live. And laugh. And most importantly, love. Yeah, man. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. (laughs) These opinions are our own and are in no way associated with the film or the film's production company. The cover art for Tragical was created by Johnny the Alchemist. The theme song for Tragical was produced by Ja Reezy. Contact info for both artists can be found on their Instagrams, which are linked in the show notes. Thanks for listening to Tragical. It's me, Alyssa.